Last year's CAC championship game was as dramatic as it gets, as Salisbury narrowly edged Christopher Newport 58-57 on a pair of Wyatt Smith free throws with one second left. The title was the second in program history for the Seagulls, and first since the 1995-96 season. Salisbury went on to capture its NCAA first round matchup against Eastern Connecticut State before falling to Trinity in round two. Who will step up and lead their squad to the promised land this winter? Let's find out as we look in depth at each CAC team entering the 2015-16 campaign, counting down the preseason poll as we go. Well, our goal is to make the conference tournament. That's, uh, that's something we've uh, shot for the, our first two years, uh, and uh, that is definitely the goal. And uh, we expect to make it. We're, we're excited about the team we have this year, so uh, we're feeling really good about things. Well, first, uh, Wes Evans. He was a, our only four-year player we had. He was our captain, and uh, when he blew his knee out there, first part of January, that was a definitely a key loss. Preston Eaton, our leading scorer, uh, has gone on to work at Ford Motor Company in Detroit. He's doing well. And Kyle Dragnich uh, gave us a lot of toughness. We'll miss him too. Our key returners uh, would include Kevin Walker, um, who uh, plays on the guard line for us. So probably move a little bit more over to the wing this year. Uh, David Beatty uh, is a real nice player. Uh, like a lot of our players kind of happen to move up. We're a little smaller this year, move up a position. Justin Langford uh, from Oregon is, is a real nice uh, returning player. We've got Emmett Mosley coming back that's a senior. Um, we've got some newcomers uh, that are going to be uh, really good. Uh, some of them were here before though, and they've just returned from missions. Uh, you're going to meet Anders Jacobson here in just a minute, who's, uh, this will be his fourth year in the program. We're looking for a lot of leadership from him. Uh, Jake Fink is back from a mission. Jace Edmonds, I think, is going to be a real nice player. And uh, in that first group, I might have mentioned uh, Aaron Rumball, so I think uh, looks uh, quite improved. The off season's always really big. It's really important because you have to improve your skills and uh, get stronger and quicker so you can compete better the next year. And specifically for me this year, just coming off a mission for our church, um, it's been really important because I've had two years off of competitive basketball, and so I've really had to get in the weight room and try to improve my skills. Uh, get back to where I was before and improve on that. I'm really excited to just play uh, competitive basketball again. I'm also really excited for the challenge that we have as a team this year. I think some people might be counting us out from um, how we performed in the past years, but I think our team looks really good and I think we're going to uh, really prove some people wrong this year. I think our schedule is definitely going to get us ready. Uh, early on we're playing at Weber State. Uh, they're picked to win the Big Sky Conference uh, Division One this year. They've got a guy that's uh, NBA ready that's about 6'9", <laughs> with uh, about 6'9", 250. With our size that's going to be a challenge. So if we can <clears throat> play against uh, that team, uh, against uh, some teams we're going to play up in a tournament up in New York City, uh, some of the different really competitive groups we're playing. We're playing uh, Final Four team from last year at Virginia Wesleyan. Uh, I think our, our you know, non-conference schedule is definitely going to get us ready for what is one of the toughest conferences in the country. I think Coach Caputo talked about this, but our first game is against Weber State in Utah, so that'll be a really fun game. And we're traveling all over the place in our conference with and with our non-conference schedule, we get to go up to New York, and um, it's it's exciting. I think we're going to play some really good teams and um, be good challenges for us. On the court as a point guard, um, you kind of have to lead the team um, just because you have the ball in your hands a lot on offense and um, just trying to be more vocal this year um, to help us. And off the court, our team's 
been involved in some community service activities and our school is really big on being leader servants so um, striving to be leaders in uh, church callings and also um, in my family and uh, just everything I'm involved with. I like being a student athlete here a lot because it's a smaller school, a smaller environment. Um, it's also a really competitive environment as well and so lots of great players come here. Um, and it's just, it's fun. Um, the, the school rallies around each other, the athletes uh, really help each other uh, to compete at the highest level and so it's, it's just fun playing here, I like it. I'm a Division III student athlete and I know how powerful words can be. The term gay doesn't mean stupid, lame, or less than. So I pledge to speak up if I hear the term gay used in a derogatory way or any other homophobic terms. If you can play, you can play in Division III. I'm a Division III student athlete and my teammates unconditionally accepted me as part of their family. So now I pledge to do the same for others. If you can play, you can play in Division III. Goals and expectations for this 2015-16 season is we're trying to get our team that we're a factor on both sides of the ball offensively and defensively, that we can create some depth, that we can compete with the teams in the CAC, and we're working really hard to be able to be one of those teams at the end of the year that can get into the CAC playoffs and take that next step in terms of the maturing and the development process that good teams have. My goals for the upcoming season are to win uh, make conference playoffs, win a conference championship, and qualify for NCAAs with the automatic bid so we can compete in some national games. I think two key losses for our program last year was Joe Farthing, uh, you know, just a great, great kid, great teammate, uh, led by example. Uh, we'll miss his versatility. And Alberto De Los Santos was another guy that uh, was able to score baskets for us. I think three key returners for us would be Anthony Morgan, uh, a senior, Josh Johnson, another senior for us, and Eric Sedini, uh, a junior from uh, New Jersey. Those three guys have been a big core for what we tried to do as soon as the season ended last year and throughout the summer and preseason. And then Dante Vaughn uh, had a great summer uh, with working extremely hard. and then. Uh, Marquise Daniels and Winton Lyle, they'll be competing for spots uh, somewhere in our rotation. Uh, the weight room has been a big key. Um, I hit the weight room a lot this offseason. Um, helped my strength out on the court and also uh, added some more weight that's going to hopefully allow defenders to bounce, bounce off of me. I think, I think right now we, we brought in a number of uh, new faces. We're still early in camp, so we're just trying to still sort that, that all out. But I think that you know a couple guys, uh, Jazz Harris is a guy from uh, Howard Community College as well as his teammate from down there. Austin Shamuma will be key additions for us. Uh, Jordan Wilson is a key addition to our program as well. Uh, and just a number of freshmen right now, they're trying to sort it out and, and, and figure it out uh, academically. They're trying to figure it out being away from home for the first time. And then also with the college basketball scene, uh, trying to get better each and every day. Uh, we're a work in progress. I'm most looking forward to just be able to play again. Um, it's my last year and we haven't played since February, so I'm really excited to just go out and compete against other faces besides some blue or white jerseys. So. We're excited about our non-conference schedule and you know certainly the CAC, our third year in it, uh, with the opponents that we have to face night in and night out, uh, you know, and a young team and a relatively inexperienced team. You know, we're just trying to focus on the next game coming out. We have our Hershey Park tip-off tournament that starts off uh, the 14th and 15th with a couple good regional teams. Uh, I think we have a good balanced home and away schedule for non-league and you know right off the bat we get tested with Mary Washington, Frostburg, and Salisbury uh, with our group. So we're, we're taking them one at a time but uh, you know we just know that the league is so good, the travel and, and the different regions that the league touches on. Uh, you never know what people are going to bring in and, and what they have, but uh, we, uh, we got great respect and uh, 
we're just looking to try to get better each and every day. Well, Cornell is a big one. It's a Division One opponent, so everybody's excited and wound up for that. But also, uh, we play in a tough conference, so every game's important. So I'm just excited to go out and show the conference what we have this season. The athletic department and also the academic staff here, uh, the professors are really helpful when they meet your accommodations, depending on what your schedule's like. And also the athletic department, everybody supports one another. You can go to any coach for anything you need. Uh, go to trainers whenever you need to. And everybody, someone's there in the athletic department always there to help. The CAC Student Athlete Advisory Committee promotes community service as one of the pillars of the organization's mission. CAC SAC members have impacted the communities surrounding their campuses in a variety of ways over the years. The student athletes realize that it's important to give back to the community and make those connections between community members, whether it's nonprofits, whether it's groups of kids and clubs and organizations, uh, whether it's senior citizens. Uh, student athletes realize that and they want and they have a desire, a true desire to give back to their community. It's really important because it lets other people know what the Student Athlete Advisory Committee is about because most people aren't aware of what we do. I mean, it bridges a gap between the communities, the student athlete community and the outside community. It's very important for SAC to be involved like this whether we have athletes that are very passionate about causes and to put good people towards good causes is the best thing to do. I think one of the most important functions of SAC is you know, the community involvement piece. It gives back to the school, it gives back to the community makes both better. I think like any coach we want to improve with every game and hopefully we're playing our best basketball in late February. Uh, we'd certainly like to have a winning season. Uh, we want to make the CAC tournament, which we did not do last year, and we'd love to finish uh, in you know the top four in the CAC during a regular season. So we either get a first round by, or we're hosting a first round game. Our main goal is to have a perfect season and a perfect record, which will lead to a CAC championship. Um, even if our schedule is not perfect or our record is not perfect, then uh, our goal is still to succeed in the playoffs and have that CAC championship belt. We uh, have three guys that we lost. Jabari Kamal was a senior last year, Tyler Campbell was a senior, uh, and David Patrick. Jabari and Tyler both played power forward post positions. Uh, David we had hoped might play this year because he had gotten a medical red shirt and he had another year of eligibility, but he's going to be able to graduate in December and I certainly understand that. So that, it leaves us a little inexperienced at the point guard position, uh, but those are the three guys that we're, go we're gonna miss the most, obviously, because they were all seniors. Key returners, uh, James Peters is huge. Uh, he missed the entire season last year with a groin injury, only played eight minutes, so he got a medical red shirt. 6'3 left-hander who can score from anywhere on the floor. Um, I really think had he played last year, you know, you, you, we probably win four or five more ball games because we've got his ability to score. So he's healthy, playing very well. Uh, Tyler Michael, sophomore wing, who played pretty well as a freshman for us uh, and has, has improved dramatically. His summer work ethic was outstanding. Uh, Breon Powell, 6'2", uh, 6'3", six, six, senior wing, um, who's very quick, first step uh, with the basketball, also probably our best on the ball defender. Nick Smoot, 6'1", uh, wing, who's also a very, very, very good individual and team defender. Uh, probably executes the pick and roll as well as anybody on our team. Streaky shooter, but has three-point range, also a senior. Terrell Goodman, a senior, 6'3", uh, post player who plays a lot bigger than he is. Uh, Sean Henson, who's a fifth year senior who had sat out one year because of a medical injury. Um, he's very versatile, 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 can play uh, inside for us, although he's not real bulky, but he can run the floor, he can shoot to three. And then Zach Coleman, who is a sophomore, who has grown from 6'7", to 6'8 half, has improved dramatically on his offensive skills, has great shot blocking ability. And yeah, you know, I've left out a few, but I think those are the, um, 
key personnel that we're expecting to step up and play well this year. During the summer, I talked to a few guys. They were all uh, working out individually. And then when we came to school, we uh, had strength and conditioning with Coach Sharp. And um, we started doing drills together and working out together to build that bond as a team. There's, there's four people, I think, that had the chance to help us immediately. Sean Bozier is a junior college point guard, extremely smooth, uh, has the ability to score, but very, very, very unselfish. Is a pass first kind of kid, but if you need him to score, he can. He's about 6'2. Uh, Tavari Merriman uh, is a freshman point guard, extremely quick with the basketball, played in a great high school program down at Riverdale Baptist. Uh, Johnson Ogunyoye is a 6'7 freshman center out of C.H. Flowers High School uh, who has some shot blocking ability and his offensive uh, skills are a little bit better than we expected. And then Darren Campbell is a junior college transfer about 6'5 who can play on the perimeter and also can post up. So those are probably the four newcomers that right now I would think have the best opportunity to get playing time for us. Basically the playoffs um, the playoffs is always an interesting time because uh, during this time, most of our bodies, they're sore and uh, it really brings out the challenge uh, for us players. And then as we succeed in the playoffs, I'm really looking forward to that CAC championship game and uh, winning the CAC. The CAC, I think, is one of the five or six best conferences in the country, men's basketball division three. It will be tough again. Um, I'm not going to talk on every single team, but I don't see anybody that's going to be worse. Uh, there were some teams that had some young players and they got everybody back. We've got great coaches throughout the conference, so it's going to be a very, very, very tough conference. Last year was the first time, I think, in four years that we hadn't been a multi-bid league. Uh, I expect this year we'll probably get two teams in the NCAA again. Um, as far as our out-of-conference out schedule, we open up in Mount Aloysius, who's an old opponent from when we were in the AMCC. Uh, then we've got our own tournament at Bobcat Invitational with Randolph Macon, who was ranked number one in the country for most of the year last year and got all the way to the final eight. Uh, St. Vincent's playing in the tournament. They won the NCAA tournament last year. Hood's in the tournament, and they made the ECACs. So we got three teams in our tournament that all played in postseason play. Uh, we also play in Washington Lee University's tournament uh, right after Christmas. I believe it's Sewanee. Uh, Methodist College and WNL. At this point in time, I don't know that much about any of those teams, but we'll know more about them uh, before we go down and play in that tournament. The other non-conference games are Waynesburg on the road, Roanoke at home, and I don't know if I've left anybody out or not, but um, Roanoke always a very, very, very uh, competitive team. Their head coach, Paige Moore, is one of my best friends in the coaching business. Waynesburg uh, had a very, very competitive team last year, so we've got a we're not playing any, any uh, slouches in our non-conference schedule. Expectations don't change from year to year or day to day. It's we show up and work as hard as we can on any given day, and that's going to allow us to improve every day. And that's what we talk to our players about. So we talk within our program. Everything's about the process and how do we get better each day and being a better version of ourselves tomorrow than we are today. Things have probably gone a little quicker. Uh, we had a little extra time with, with fall break as well so we got to get some more stuff accomplished here earlier in the year and guys that have been in the program guys like Chris and Brad and Dalton that have been around for multiple years now and really start to understand who I am what I'm about what I expect and then are able to really just handle that for the program and I don't have to do any of that type of stuff anymore. Uh, we have Chris Conway as a senior, uh, lone senior this year. Dalton Myers, Brad Wesner are juniors for us. 
Mike Duffy, Matt Scamuffo, Blade Wright, Zach Gaelic, all in the sophomore class. So we got a lot of guys back that have uh, have some time under their belts and kind of the first time we've been in that situation since I've been here. As a team, this year I hope, uh, you know, since I've been here, our coaches always stress the process and just getting better every day. And as a team, um, at the end of the season, I think one thing that we need to measure ourselves by, and as a whole group, as a unit, is that we get better every single day. Um, I think if we really come out every day in practice, get better, um, like we have been doing since I've been here, uh, I think the results will come. If, like they haven't, they haven't necessarily come yet, but I think they will eventually come if we continue to do how, continue to work by the process the way we have been. Yeah, we have five incoming freshmen. Uh, excited about all of them in varying roles within our program. Uh, Mike Fraunheim's doing a very good job for us right now at the point guard spot. Uh, Colin Costello is also another point guard, combo guard that that's really can shoot the ball. Um, I have Jason Beatty and Mike Coleman are athletic wing players, and Jared Noble is a, a forward from Howard High School in Maryland. Yeah, so we always play a tough non-conference. You have to to prepare for our league. I mean, CAC is one of the top leagues in the country. So uh, we play our traditional games with Gettysburg and Messiah, who are both very good opponents. Uh, we're opening up down at Stevenson, who will probably be picked to, to win the, uh, their half of the Freedom Conference this year. Uh, so three good games there. Uh, and then we have our home Coaches versus Cancer Tournament, which is a great event. Um, and, you know, hope to compete to win a championship there. And then we're going up to Lycoming, uh, who will be one or two with Stevenson in, in their league. And that will be another really good tournament between Christmas and New Year's. So uh, seven non-lean games that will hopefully prepare us for, you know, January and February here in the CAC. Of my four years here, this is definitely my favorite team. Um, I finally feel like we have 13 guys that are all here for the same reason. Um, we're all playing for each other. Off the floor, I feel like guys are a lot tighter. Um, we all live together. We all live with basketball players. Um, off the floor is definitely way more of a connection this year. Um, me as the only senior, I live with the juniors. and um, We really just all hang out, talk. There's a lot of different characters on the team, so a lot of different characters. So it's it's it's... It's definitely going to be a fun year. Development, you know, we have played a tremendous amount of young players, and, you know, so those guys need time to develop. And I think at the end of last year, we were playing playing some pretty good basketball, and, and that's where we want to be this year. You know, in February, you want to be playing your best basketball uh, and giving yourself a chance to advance to the CAC playoffs. Um, so, you know, that's... It's just a constant building process, year in, year out, returning players, new players. None of that matters. Every year is different. This is who we are. How are we going to get better for tomorrow? Well, it's been easier because we have Chris Conway. Hey, he's been absolutely unbelievable. Best leader I've been around in college coaching, hands down. Um, and so he has really set the tone for our program in that regard. And then, you know, if you want to call him the captain and – He's got a bunch of lieutenants. I'm not sure if the military would be happy with how I'd set that up, but he's got another group of guys under him that, that do their job as leaders also, and it just kind of filters down, and I don't really have to deal with a whole lot. They take care of it, and um, I think when the guys in the program feel empowered to, to run the program, then you have something pretty special going on, and that that's what we're doing, and that's much bigger than what happens out in the out on the court. Um, in, in years past, we've always talked about like having your brothers back on the court, and um, I think this year it's going to really be evident of holding each other accountable. I think, guys, I'm, I'm way more comfortable now knowing, like, making relationships with people, now being able to hold people accountable and doing my doing my job as a leader is much easier. Just knowing that I put the time with every single individual person on the team, so that they know that when I get on them or criticize them, it's all for the good of the team. Not, you know, I, I feel like I'm a way better leader because of it, and guys around me are way better leaders because of it, too. For the love of the game, but for those of us who are Division Three student-athletes, it's more than that, a lot more. Sure, the game is important, but as we work so hard to build both mind and body, it's more about team. That is why NCAA Division Three teamed up with Special Olympics, and in giving the gift of sport to those for whom it seemed an impossible dream, we are working to make this a better world. Help us keep that dream alive. You can make a difference.
from day one, our team goals have always been to be greater than we were yesterday. Our goal every day is to go 1-0, and and we're constantly reminding our guys that they need to be able to, you know, they control, I should say, their actions to be the best teammate that they can be, their effort and their attitude day in and day out. So that's, I mean, I know it sounds cliche, but that's in all honesty what our goals are at this point. We expect to win the CAC, and we expect to be in the NCAA tournament this year. Uh, we expect big goals from the incoming class. We are fairly young, so we're um, the couple of older teammates that we have, which is two seniors and a couple of juniors. We have to pull along the freshmen and sophomores and get them better to get, make the team better. Losing A.J. Tillman, who would have been a senior point guard this year, hurts, but we feel pretty comfortable with the guys that we have coming in. Uh, to fill that void, if you will, with AJ not being around. But other than that, we uh, seven guys returning off of last year's team, and with the three freshmen that we brought in, and a couple transfers and a couple walk-ons, we feel pretty good about the group that we put together thus far. Well, Wayne Lennon and Anthony Bowers, those are our two seniors this year, uh, both senior captains. Uh, Wayne started since probably midway through his freshman year, he was uh, the D3 Hoops Mid-Atlantic Freshman of the Year, the CAC Freshman of the Year, and the leadership that those two have displayed from day one has been just remarkable. It's something that we as a coaching staff have talked about, you know, after practice day in and day out, and really excited about that. And Anthony Bowers, you know, in my mind, one of the toughest guards to cover and guard in the conference. He's so strong, so compact, low to the floor. Um, with Anthony, though, it's just going to be having him be more consistent from the field this year, and that's something I know he's put a lot of energy and focus into doing. And then uh, one of the surprises last year with Jordan Johnson, who was at Averett University in Danville, Virginia, as a freshman, not getting many minutes there, and just shows you that the right situation, the right place, the right system. Jordan thrived for us for about the first half to three quarters of the year, and then towards the end, kind of, you know, numbers declined a little bit, but, you know, for different reasons. But we're really excited to have him back. And then J.W. Lawson brings a lot of energy uh, to the floor. Prepared for the season, actually. Just knew, we knew what was ahead of us. We knew we wasn't going to be named. Like, we wasn't going to have a big name out there. So we knew we was going to have to prove a point this year. And we started by lifting and getting better in the offseason. It's definitely paid off so far. You could tell that we're, in, we're getting in shape, a lot better shape than we were last year. So we're going to be more active and just we're not going to run out of energy as much as we did last year. We're not going to run out of gas at the end of the season as we did last year. I just feel like all that off-season work is actually going to pay off. You can tell already. Two of the newcomers we have, George Cook, who's a transfer from Gwinnett Mercy, who we recruited out of Wildwood Catholic when he was a senior, and Tyrone Craven from Waldorf, Maryland. Those two I can see helping to fill that void with AJ not being there in terms of uh, the point guard position. Uh, very excited. Again, very defensive oriented. Both of those two young men are. George is strong. Um, Tyrone's quick. Call them two the little water bugs. Um, Terrence Braxton, who's uh, a local product from Cesar Rodney High School, who played for Freeman Williams, who's a Wesley men's basketball alum. Um, we're really excited about him. We think he has a huge upside, very coachable, absorbs things, gives great effort and energy every day on the floor. He's bought in from day one. Just He's kind of an old school player mentality wise. And then uh, last but not least is Evan Anderson. He's a true freshman from Westchester East. Um, he was a heck of a football player in high school and you can tell with his body. He's very physical for a freshman. He's adjusted well and I can see him giving us a lot of, uh, a lot of help and a lot of uh, minutes early on in the year and throughout the course of the year. We're opening up with Virginia Wesleyan, who's preseason number two in some bowls, and it's always fun playing them because the respect and the very similar style that both teams like to play. Um, Catholic, who's fourth or fifth in the polls again, we're lucky. We tried to get them on the schedule last year, just didn't work out, so we're able to get them on the schedule this year. Gwinnett Mercy, who I believe uh, was runner-up in the uh, CSAC last year, they're, you know, they, they took it to us up there uh, at their place, so we're looking forward to that game with them. Uh, Newman, who won the CSAC last year, made to the NCAA tournament. We'll get them the second day over at Stockton. So, I mean, again, right there you have three NCAA tournament teams last year out of your four non-conference. Then we uh, take a little hiatus from the CAC schedule and go down to play Elon, which is a Division I school in the Colonial Athletic Association. So, 
that's an experience that we're really looking forward to for our guys and for our program. And then uh, to round out the non-conference schedule, we have Bethany, West Virginia, who was in the uh, ECAC last year, who's always a good program. And, I mean, we have our work cut out for us, but our, you know, we want to get back to that mentality and develop that mentality again that we've gotten away from last year. About Wesley, honestly, I love coming to the school because it was far enough, far away from home. It's two hours from my home, but it's also close enough where I can go back and visit. I like this school because it was a small college, so you had a lot more focus inside the classroom. The teachers, the teachers are more active with you instead of having 50 kids in the class and you're not getting too much attention. So I like that about coming to this school. Um, I like the programs here. I feel like every team supports the other team. So basketball team will go out to a football game. Soccer team will go out to a basketball game. I feel like all the teams come together as one kind of. And I just like all the support around. Even though the gym isn't too big, once you get in there and start playing, I feel like there's a thousand people in there. So. We have some leadership and we have some guys that want to win and we have some talented guys but we did lose six seniors 3200 points um, you know 2,000 point scores the leading rebounder in the league so they have some big shoes to fill but I think they're excited and they all came back better players so I'm pretty excited about that well first of all we want to get back there and then we want to keep going our goal has always been to get to March and that's going to be the same goal this year I just I just want to win as many games as possible. Um, we've had some up and down seasons, especially in my first two years here. We didn't uh, kind of build in the culture, but I think it's finally set in now, and um, I think the culture's set, and I, I'm just excited to win. We have three seniors, and one of the seniors who has played sparingly in his first three years due to injury, but in the games he's played, we've won 80% of those games. So we're really hoping that he's healthy. Rick Narciss, who um, can play kind of any position except maybe the five. Um, Colin Burkhart has played a lot, you know, has started at times for us, um, is an energy guy and has come back as a better player, better shooter. And Danny Ferry was second in the league last year percentage-wise from three and had some big games. I mean, had I think three games where he had five or more threes. I think he had six and one, but he was pretty consistent shooting the ball. Michael Anderson is a junior. He has started for two years at point guard, he's a lot stronger now. I think he's a better shooter, um, and he has you know a lot of experience under his belt in the CAC. So um, Pat Dumay played about 10 minutes a game for us last year. is also a junior. As far as our sophomore class goes, um, DJ Stockman was he came on the scene in no way I've ever seen. This is going to be my 15th year coaching in college. I've never seen a freshman have a, a weekend like he did in our tip-off tournament. Uh, I think it was hard to sustain anything like that, but he played really well throughout the season. And when Jesse got hurt at the end of the year, he became a starter. You could see a lot of guys uh, had it still on their mind. Some of them really came back uh, motivated. Some put on some weight. Some. Uh, you know, put on some skill. You know, um, you could you could tell there's a different air about it. And at camp, um, people were competing hard, and getting after each other, um, and just I mean that the general air you could feel it. You know, they didn't they didn't want that to happen again. Our freshmen, we have four. Um, we have Tyler Beal, who's a six nine. 
five I mean, in, in, from Tampa, Florida, who is pretty skilled. We actually have three wings that can kind of play any position. Um, Trey Johnson from WT Woodson, who is more of a driver than a shooter right now, but he, he, he's surprised me that he can do both, and he really defends. Um, Logan Cook, who is a bigger wing, who's legitimately 6'4", strong, can shoot the ball, and has a pretty high basketball IQ. And Brandon Rogers, who we really welcome because he's just another kid that can really shoot the ball. So the, the non-conference schedule is really new to me, um, and it'll be new to our guys. Um, we're starting off with Keene in New Jersey. I think it'll be a good first test and going on the road in the first game is always a good test um, then we play a former CAC team who we haven't seen in two or three years hood here at home uh, the tip-off tournament will be pretty competitive uh, Eastern Mennonite from the ODAC um, St. Joe's Long Island and Medgar Evers uh, are the other three teams uh, we're going to open up with Medgar Evers and I, th like I said I think it'll be pretty competitive we're playing a landmark team first time we played a landmark team in a while uh, Juniata is coming here right after Thanksgiving um, and we're playing Lebanon Valley. My former boss, uh, my first Division Three job, Brad McAllister, agreed to play. So we're going up there, and we're playing our first uh, Centennial team in a while. So we're playing. We're going to McDaniel right before finals. I don't think you can ever really prepare for our league, especially like the new the new guys. They don't know um, how competitive every game is. Salisbury obviously won last year, but St. Mary's and Wesley have won um, maybe three or four of the previous years. Uh, CNU is always very good, so you know we're starting out with a uh, a tough early season schedule. But you know I'm excited to play them. Excited to play those games. Non-conference play is all about kind of figuring out what we're good at, you know, and you know continuing that, um, and then you know building on our strengths and tuning up the defense. Um, usually the offense is there, but the defense isn't quite there, and that's it's kind of what non-conference play. And then we get into conference play and. You know, we've seen these guys, we know what they run, or we've seen them, and you know, it's a, it's a different atmosphere, and home, home and away each time, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to it. Something I discovered to myself is that if I have a goal, then I can accomplish it. It's a well-rounded experience. At a Division three school, you primarily a student athlete, so the school is really shaped around you developing yourself as a complete individual. It helps a lot that you have a family with your team that can guide you. for us this season are the same as they've been every year I've been a coach and that is just to get better every day not really focused on any game in particular yet we're just looking to get better we got a lot to improve on as, as a team uh, if we can come to practice and you know get better each and every day in a different area then I think we'll be all right when at the end of the year so I don't, I don't have a huge goal for us um, other than just getting better every day well my number one goal is to definitely try and get a national championship because that's just the highest goal possible. And definitely just to grow more as a team and to buy in and get everybody on one page. And so I know last year it was definitely a, a struggle with a new team and a new system and everything like that for everybody to just um, to come together and to work as one. But I think definitely this year we definitely have that. Well, we lost a big one from last year, obviously, Taylor Johnson our leader in every single way last year and I know he's been a leader in this program for all four years he was here so it's a big loss you know our experienced guy is gone and now we got to rely on some other guys to step up our key returners I would say uh, obviously Eric Shaw is going to be a key for us this year being a second team all conference last season and we're going to put a lot on his shoulders this year to carry us in a lot of different ways and uh, Brent Mahoney will be back for what we hope to be another really good season um, uh, Hayden Thompson, who we had last year, just injured. He's healthy. He'll be playing. He's going to be key for us. So, uh, you know, another guy, John Lutenhouse, I think, is going to take that step that we were hoping he would have taken last year. We're looking really forward to seeing if he can do that this season and, and be one of our go-to guys. I say just the, the mentality, and I've definitely gotten a lot stronger, um, both mentally and physically, just because um, definitely the games that we lost last year, they definitely replayed in my head a lot. So. Um, 
like when I'm at, whenever I'm in the weight room and I need motivation to get up and to do something, I just think about the last game that we lost or a specific game, whether it was like a CNU game or Salisbury. And I know that I definitely look back on that in order for me to to push through whatever I'm going through, whether it's the weight room or just in the gym or getting shots up. The newcomers we're relying on, really, we've got uh, some, some guards that we're going to rely heavily on in, in TJ Jones, uh, Mark Madison, and Jacob Williams, uh, two freshmen in the transfer. Um, those are probably our three key guys that we have coming in that, that are going to fill some, uh, some, some necessary voids that we had last season. Winning. Um, last year was a, it was a, a journey, but um, this year I'm definitely looking forward to not losing pretty much. And, just applying everything that I've been doing and we've been doing as a, as a team. Um, just the whole, all the preparation has all come down to this season and I know that this is our this is our time to make some noise. Our schedule's tough. Uh, we, we don't do ourselves any favors. Uh, and I have nobody to blame but myself for that, but I do like that. Um, I, I believe you got to be the best, you got to beat the best. We, our goal, obviously, is in conference. Those are the most important games for us, so we want to we want to get ourselves ready for that uh, by playing top competition outside. Let's open up with Randolph Macon, who was number one in the country for most of last year. We go to their place to tip off, then travel, stay in the ODAC, and go down and play at Lynchburg. We got uh, Virginia Wesley, who right now is preseason number two in the country, coming to us right before Christmas. We play a Division One opponent, so uh, we'll, we'll be battle tested when we get to the to the heart of the CAC. Non conference, um, I'm the Game I'm probably most excited about is women Mary, um, just because the, it's a higher level. Um, it's a higher level than what we're playing, so I know that'll definitely be the maybe the biggest challenge for us, just because we're going against um, bigger guys, stronger guys, and stuff like that. And I think that'll definitely you know put us in a spot where we're just not comfortable. And I think we could still possibly win because um, I believe anything's possible. So I'm definitely ready to go to war with them. And um, as far as the conference, I'm ready to take over the conference with my team. And I know that we can do it, and I'm ready for it to come to pass. I think we have, we have this, at this time this year versus last year, we, we have some different pieces in, 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 to our puzzle, if you will. Um, we were still trying to figure each other out last year at this time. And while we're a new team, um, about half new guys and half returners at this point, uh, the returners have done a good job of bringing them along. So I feel that just, we're just getting more out of practice, not as much having to stop and teach things. I think that we, we, we do a good job of just kind of picking up where we've left off. Um, so a lot of that will be gone. Um, yeah, and I think we just, we're just all around going to be, hopefully, you know, get off to a better start. That'll be, that'll be huge for us, getting off to a better start. So. I think even more so, I'd say it's the mindset. Um, last year, I don't remember us really setting um, like a, a major goal, and I know this year, um, whenever we talk with the team together, um, we kind of like set a goal. Like, there's no reason we shouldn't aim for higher than the sky because there's always something further. So, national championship is the is the main goal. So, I know if you work for that, in worst case you fail, you were reaching for something, and I know that um, helps uh, helps with consistency too. Because if you have, you have something to think about every day. And just um, just buying in and and knowing what coach wants out of us and what we expect out of each other, um, just coming together and stuff like that. And I know last year it was it was a little different because everybody was trying to find their roles. But I know definitely this year it's going to be a lot more defined. Um, you know we have good leaders on our team, um, definitely our coaches, and I know that with um, with them, uh, I guess guiding us to where we want to go and where we need to go. I know it's just a matter of time before we get there. I'd probably say the, the atmosphere um, was, was um, coming from like Longwood and um, just being around different programs. I know that uh, student athletes, a lot of times it'll, it'll be more of a competition rather than being one big family. I know that's one thing that we stress here. Division three allows you to give yourself to other things. Having that free time allows me to pursue the things that I want to pursue. Division three athletics affords students the opportunity to, you know, engage in the other interests in their campus and in their lives outside of that sport. It allows you to just be able to do everything you want to do. I wouldn't change it for the world.
just want to work hard every day, get better every day, and then take everything, you know, one day at a time, deal with what's in front of us, um, and really not worry about what might happen and just get better every day. The goals for this season are, are the same as, as they've been with this program, um, is to win a national championship ultimately. Um, but up until that, the, the first goals we have obviously are a CAC regular season title um, and then a CAC championship uh, in that order and then a national championship to follow. Um, but, but just on a day-to-day -day basis, just getting better every day as a team. Uh, we got a lot, of, a lot of new young guys this year, so improving every day will be a big part of achieving those uh, ultimate goals. Obviously, Nick Laguerre uh, was a tremendous talent. He was a huge part of our program, four-year player. Um, just absolutely left a tremendous hole when he left um, that we are now filling with a number of young players. Um, we're a very young team. We have uh, ten first-year players, five sophomores, and three seniors. So um, uh, to use Maybe Baby Hawks might be a good term for our team here. Um, we show uh, Disney movies on the bus because of our, our age. Um, but uh, yeah, we're young. But you know, every team goes through that and uh, we're just trying to grow one day at a time. Uh, Tanner Brooks, first and foremost, is a veteran leader. He'll be a senior that we lean on quite a bit and uh, have a lot of expectations for. Um, I'm excited about his role this year as a kind of senior captain. Um, Delazo Smith, very strong returner, played a lot for us as a first-year player who uh, brings a lot of energy and very good defender. Um, Marcellus Hurley is also a freshman who performed very well for us last year, who, although he's a sophomore, is a big leader in our program and uh, I think will be counted on to be tough inside and you know, a good rebounder, a good defender. Um, and after that, it's a lot of question marks. Well, this offseason has been huge, uh, personally and as a team. Um, for me, I got to experience playing against professional teams in Europe this summer, uh, which was big for me just to, to see a different level of basketball that helped elevate my game and make me more prepared for this upcoming season. Um, and then as a team, we got to do some stuff in the fall, some preseason workouts uh, as a group, just bringing in this whole new, new group of young guys, um, teach them the culture. Uh, teach them the program, and, and that was huge for the young guys adjusting to college life and adjusting to becoming a student athlete at the college level. The newcomers this year will be uh, Kyle DePolar, uh, is one of our incoming freshmen. Um, he's kind of established early on now a, a solid role in our rotation. Uh, he's a talented combo guard. Um, Donye Jackson, who was injured all of last year, um, will be a senior and uh, coming off of knee surgery. Um, you know, as his knee gets better, we're, we're starting to see what he can bring to the table. Uh, he's a very good defender, he's got very good size. Um, and uh, after that, Connor Jacobs uh, and James Foley are two freshman forwards that uh, will be counted on to give us some depth at the forward position. I'm most looking forward to, to bonding with my teammates. That's, uh, that's something that I take a lot of pride in, is, is becoming really close in the team through the travel. Um, and through the grind of a long season, being here for winter break alone, uh, being on the bus trip for all these trips. So uh, I really just look forward to enjoying my, my senior season with my teammates and uh, creating some good relationships that will last a lifetime. We have another difficult schedule uh, that's solely uh, on my shoulders. Um, I always try to schedule as tough a schedule as we can. Uh, we'll be playing John Carroll, uh, who's been a very well-known program nationally. Um, we'll be playing Guilford College, who's also uh, kind of a nationally known program powerhouse. Um, and we have a few other games in there. But uh, that, along with the CAC schedule that we have, it'll be another year of uh, day in and day out, very tough opponents that we'll have to prepare for. Uh, really, really excited for the, uh, the non-conference schedule this year. We play two um, very, very good national programs in John Carroll and Wooster. Um, and one of them is happening in Puerto Rico, so you can't beat that. We're pretty excited to go to Puerto Rico over winter break. Um, and then the conference schedule is going to be great. I mean, everybody in, in the conference is going to be good this year, uh, top to bottom. I think we're one of the best conferences in the country, so pretty excited for that. It'll be good to see the new guys coming into the conference from other schools. I'm sure everybody has a lot of good new guys. Um, so it'll be a fun year out of conference and in conference. Definitely being by the water is a big part. Um, just hanging out with friends by the water, having, having lunch with teachers by the water. Um, and also just the community aspect. Um, it's not like an athletes and non-athletes thing. Everybody's one big community. They support us, we support them, whether it's the theater department, the music department, or, or the English department. Everybody supports each other. Um, and you always feel welcome here in this campus, and that's the biggest thing for me.
is try to build upon their success from last year. And um, they had a great year last year and, and finally won the conference. It hasn't been done in 15 years. And uh, got a good core of guys coming back. And we expect to build upon that success. Obviously, we want to try to win the regular season uh, as well as the conference tournament and advance to the NCAA tournament and hopefully win a national championship. So we, we have uh, high expectations. And like throughout the year, we've set goals um, in order to like uh, exceed our expectations. Um, so uh, we we intend to obviously play well throughout the CAC and then continue playing into the tournament. And our goals are a national championship. So that's that's what we strive for. Connor Strickland is a is a is a big loss and uh, had a, had a great senior year for him last year. Uh, great leadership and uh, and obviously the injury to Wyatt Smith's uh, a loss for us. But uh, you know the rest of the guys have really picked up uh, the slack in practice, and uh, I expect a lot more uh, out of all those guys. We'll be Kyle Cyberkul, uh, Justin Whitmer, Gordon Jeter, uh, Rocky Harris, um, Justin May. Uh, some guys that can uh, I think will expand their roles, and uh, I think will be a big part of our success this season. Throughout the off season, we've had a lot of workouts, four days a week plus running and then everybody's sort of throughout the preseason uh, gotten into a lot better shape and uh, with the 6 a.m. practices and the uh, two a days our legs are are definitely going to be in, in shape that we haven't been in before so it's a good thing. Uh, we have a couple freshmen Chase Kumar and, uh, and Jack Ferguson uh, along with Chad Struthers. Uh, we have a transfer Chad Barczykowski they, they came in that's been out for a year that was from York, uh, I think will help us too. I'm most looking forward to our our fun uh, like playing style because we'll be all over the court. Uh, we got a high motor team and uh, we'll be able to deflect a lot of balls, get on fast breaks, get easy points and transition. We have uh, seven out of conference games. We have six of them on the road and one at home. And uh, we play in three tournaments. Uh, we play in the Hoopsville tournament, the wider tournament in Puerto Rico. Uh, and then we have Virginia Wesleyan at home. Uh, there, there's not an easy game on that, on that schedule. I would, I would put our out-of-conference schedule against anybody in the country. So hopefully that will prepare us for the conference year. And again, I, I think the key for us is to play our best basketball in February. Our CAC schedule, like everybody else, I think it's going to be a great league. And uh, I think it's going to be wide open, to be honest with you. I think the bottom teams from last year have gotten a lot better. And uh, it'll be a very challenging schedule. But again, I think for anyone you know, that's played this game for a long time, I mean, you got to be playing well in February like they did last year to, to play in March. So at a conference, we play a lot of tough teams. Virginia Wesleyan, a team that's been in the Final Four and has had a lot of success. And then a lot of other teams from Wisconsin and other places that, that are very good. Um, so our out of conference schedule is very tough, but it's going to definitely define who we are as a program and help us you know, get to that next level. The conference, I think that we return a lot of players will be strong in our conference and we obviously everybody's getting better. Um, so it's never, you know, an easy game in conference, but we'll we'll try to make it so that we can handle our business. I think the culture's already here. Uh, we have great kids that, that work hard, that care. Uh, you know, I think it's a little bit different. We're gonna play a lot faster than they have in the past. Um, I think the shot clock will help us. Uh, as it lowers to 30, but um, it's just great to be back here. This is a great place to be, and, and I think one of the best jobs in the country. My favorite part about being a student athlete is just like the support we get on the court and off the court. Um, there's so many opportunities off the court with, you know, in the Purdue School of Business and all that, and also you get to play the sport you love and, you know, have a, have a good time with it and enjoy your time. You know, we, we our goals are really day by day. We just we want our players to grow every single day, uh, mature, uh, and we, we want them to build great relationships with each other, uh, represent our institution, and 
hope that we can be the best team. Uh, it sounds uh, a little cliche-ish and, uh, you know, coach speak, but it really is. This group is solely focused on the process and our journey this year, and uh, we have an experienced group of guys that understands uh, how to enjoy every day and come in and cherish every day, and that's really what we're focused on. Well, our goals are to have, uh, we're actually taking a new look this year. So in the past, it's been about, you know, winning national championships, trying to win the conference. I think this year, we're trying to learn actually from the Warriors and just try to have fun, become a more together team. Because um, obviously we want to win, but we feel that if we're a more together team that maybe doesn't work so hard, but works smarter, that we'll be able to then get to our goals easier. We only had one senior last year. That was Mike Cherry. He was a terrific player. We're going to miss him uh, greatly on and off the court, uh, but uh, he is the only one. We have all, all of our other players returning, so that's a really, uh, really been good to start practice with so many returners. Well, we have 15 key returners. Uh, I, I wouldn't want to select any out. We have terrific players in every class, and um, we're, we're excited about all of them. Our offseason's definitely helped this year. We actually have a more experienced team coming back. This is the first time I've been a part of a really seasoned team. So this year it's going to be more about, you know, getting the finer points down instead of having to learn everything new. So uh, this, this offseason definitely helped our confidence. We grew more together. This is the first time we got our whole team back. No one quit. So that's uh, it's pretty remarkable this year. So We have three freshmen, uh, Tyler Femi from Flint Hill High School, Quad Borup, from Loudoun County and Nate Roberts from Fairfax High School. Uh, we expect all three to fit in extremely well and uh, contribute for us this year. This season, um, I'm just looking forward to playing with all my teammates, man. Uh, you know, now they're some of my best friends. I think that's one of the biggest things that's kept us really together. Um, you know, playing together and just having fun with each other. Yeah, we have a tough non-conference schedule as usual. We play a whole bunch of ODAC teams, which is uh, another great conference that's close by, which has uh, been really good for us. We open up uh, with Lynchburg College, who beat us pretty handily last year and will be picked as one of the top teams in the ODAC. So uh, our focus is on Lynchburg right now, and they're going to be a terrific team and a, it'll be a great test. I think we had some crazy stat last year. I think we were like top 10 in the hardest conference or schedules in the nation last year. So definitely don't get any slough games. That's the way we want it. We want to play the best teams. Um, our conference is definitely very hard, especially in basketball. And our other conference games, we almost basically play only top 25 teams. <laughs> so it should be it should be fun. Well, I mean, this school is great. Honestly, CNU is one of the best academic schools we have in Virginia, let alone this side of the East Coast. Um, I just love going to school here personally. And then, you know, just to be a student athlete, I'm just so lucky and, you know, to play basketball. I love it. So that's the best part for me is just to get to come to a great school and play basketball. <laughs>